In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' questions, and this is based on our speedometer chart that we already have. So the link is in the comment comments below. I put it in there as well. So if you want to watch part one, so uh, what we want to do here is basically this here, this needle here. We want to change the color of it. So how can we do this and update this directly in here? So this is a very interesting exercise because it will go deeper into charges advanced items. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' questions, which is how to color the speedometer needle gauge chart in Chart.js. And this is a video based on another video. So this is very important. So we have here everything ready. And if you would like to get this part, I would highly recommend to check out this specific video. I'll put them in the comment section below. You will find the link there as well. That's part one. So this was based on someone else's question that ask on this specific video but this specific video was not directly related to it however here a special thank you to Afnaf Tamit for asking the question and this is what Afnaf asked wonderful work works very well can you please tell us how to update custom plugins I'm working with a custom gauge where I'm trying to change the gauge needle color with the team it's getting changed but I don't know how to do it all right so I've seen this question very similar and I saw I recognized my code in one of them in Stack Overflow and I was specifically to this and this is the reason why I'm getting this code here so I assume that you probably try to get this code try to design and do some adjustments on it all right so what we're going to do is this one here but sadly enough because my stack my my website has some issues with Stack Overflow I cannot enter it for some reason however we're going to solve this one so how do we change the needle based on for example the color because if I'm not mistaken, the color was like dark mode, light no mode, or dark and light. So how do we solve this? All right, so I'm going to show you some tricks because you will have to do two items here and uh, they are required basically if you have understanding of charges, you will understand why you have to do this. All right, so let's look here first at this specific item here, which is the needle color. Let me search for the color. That is this specific item here, the fill, that's the needle, oh, this is the needle dot. And we have here the needle color. So what we want to do here, because you're using a plugin, or you are you created a custom plugin, very similar to what we have here as a custom plugin here. So what we're going to do here is basically I need to put in the options a special command here to give it the color, and that color should be grabbing it from uh, the needle here. So what I'm going to do here, because here right now we have a hard code. We need to change this. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to say here options dot and let's call this needle color. Basically what we're going to do is here we say we want to get the needle color. Basically this is here because this here code is just canvas code. We need to go to or what we're going to do is from canvas we're going to direct it to JavaScript. We're, we're exactly in the options. All right. We're exactly in the options based on the plugin where we are. So I'm going to grab this plugin. And this is the reason why we have to be consistent with the plugin uh, naming convention here. And of course, in the ID, the constant and the ID, the gauge needle. All right. So what we're going to do here is in the plugins, this, you can see this plugin here. That's here. All right. So that we need to be between there. So after the tooltip, we're going to put a comma. And then we're going to say here we have now the gauge needle plugin. And this gauge needle plugin has a certain uh, name uh, namespace. And what is the namespace? Well, very simple. We have here the namespace needle color. Basically, we're going to say here the this needle color, and we can put in here, for example, blue. If we do this, save this, make sure you have this comma here in the tooltip. We have now converted here in blue. So basically, we redirected from canvas to JavaScript. So if I make this now green, you will see here and refresh this becomes green. All right, so what we can do as well next to the needle color, I would like to grab of course, the other item, which is the dot color. Let's see where is it? Um, needle color, sorry, uh, the dot, the needle dot. All right, so we have a needle dot, which is this field now here. Let's call this the needle dot color. I'm going to grab this, make sure you have your options with an S, dot, and then here the needle dot color. But this is eventually what we want to grab. We're going to say a comma, and then we can put in here green as well. Save this, refresh, 
and there we are oh and I can see here some reason or somehow the the color here is getting as well so why is this because probably here we did something that we should not do we have the fill color all right the needle dot oh this is the font color I realized sorry that's what this should not be where's the needle dot color uh, I realize, all right, the needle dot color, we can just add it up because we don't have this one yet. So I'm going to copy this, put it in there. Uh, basically, if you want to have different colors, we could do it like that. Or if you want to only have one color, we could just do it like this. So it's one or the other way you want to do. It doesn't matter here. So this here, I'm going to put this back on hashtag 444. Sorry, this is basically the font. So if I save this now, refresh, we only pinpoint the needle dot and the needle color you can put it only one color here this is obsolete to have for two i guess unless you want these in unique colors so what i will do here in this case i'll just keep it on unique colors all right so what we're going to do now is the following we're going to grab this one and uh, if i understood the thing was that the moment you click on it you want to change it if you click on a button and that button should make dark mode so what i'm going to do here create a simple button because what we need to do here now is to update because we have this now outside of the code here because this plugin here this is the uh basically the canvas item we cannot update within there but where we can update is in this one here so that's what we're going to do right now so in here i'm going to create a new function and basically i'll just say here this will be the dark mode dark mode very simple and then in here um i will just put in here a change in color so what we're going to do here is, of course, we're going to update the chart. So we say this my chart dot update, and then we basically update the chart. But what we want to update then is basically this specific item. How do we get here now? Well, that's quite simple, because we have this now built in in the options. All we need to go here is for my chart. So let's say here my chart dot configs or config sorry for configuration dot. And then we go here into options, and then plugins, and then we're going to grab the gauge needle. Oh, sorry, not the gauge needle. Uh, yeah, the gauge needle. Sorry, that is. And then specifically these two here. So I'm going to say here uh, uh, options dot plugins dot then the gauge needle. And then finally here we're going to grab the needle color. The okay, needle color here equals to let's make this uh, a black. Very simple. So we have a dark and light color. So it will be like that. Same here for the dot specifically what is in here and this will be the needle dot if we save this now refresh we have still nothing working here yet why because of course we don't have the function working so what we want to do here and we are almost done here basically is to get the function in here so I'm going to scroll down here and then what I'm going to say here is a button let's put in here button and then I'll just make this very simple. I'll say here on click and then we say here dark mode. And this dark mode here, uh, on click dark mode, I guess we could even do here, let's say make this dark. And then we have this here hard coded like uh, this one here or basically the values in here. So, so that would be fine. We could even put it here in the parameter, but it doesn't matter so much. I just want only this. So if I save this now, let's check if this works. If I click on this, you can see here now it becomes dark, it becomes black, and there you are. That's basically what you need to do, and basically here should be maybe a toggle or something like that. However, with this, refresh again, you got that, go to dark, there you are. And then we could put maybe another button here, convert it into something else, or we could do it even like this. Uh, we say here light, and what I will say here, is the following I'll just make this black and we can just do like parameters here and then we say this one would be uh, uh, we can just grab, a, grab one of these colors here let's put it in here this all right just make this a string save this and then we're going to put a parameter here this parameter here will be a color yes a color and I'm going to change this so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to just change it based on the color here based on the button we select save this all right and here, pay attention, by default it's set on green. All right, we can change that of course, but that doesn't matter. Click here, now it's black. Click here, now it's red or similar to this here. Beautiful. And that's basically how you update it. So you have to put it first in the options here, 
and then in the options you're going to update it with a function here that correct that directly connects here in the JavaScript because you cannot update it directly in here or you might it might be possible but it's very complicated so I don't recommend you to do that so that's basically the question however next what I realize is and probably there will be something interesting I will make another video as well and then the link will eventually pop up here once the video has been created where we're going to go a bit more deeper into this specific speedometer uh, chart.